Welcome back. We are now in Zambia. We left Madagascar a couple of days ago, and we are now in uh, flat dogs, which is the same word for crocodile. Flat dogs camp. And I think you might have, uh, if you knew us from our shows, you might have heard that Flat Dogs was one of our favorite places in South Luangwa. The National Park uh, was a place that we loved so much earlier this year that we had to come back again. And we certainly are enjoying our time here. Uh, Flat Dogs does have one of the best uh, restaurants. Um, really, really good food. I don't know where they got their chef, but that chef is fantastic. And so um, I am now going to turn over the uh, video to my sister Jacqueline and she is going to give you the top 10 facts about Zambia. Hi, I'm Jacqueline, of course. You probably know me from the Traveling Sisters. Um, I'm gonna put on my glasses. I apologize in advance, but I wanna go through the top 10 uh, facts about Zambia you may not be familiar with. First of all, it's a completely landlocked country. It's uh, surrounded by the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, Angola, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Hopefully you get along with all your neighbors. You're pretty close. Uh, they have termite mounds here big enough to house a zebra. Pretty amazing. Victoria Falls shares a border with Zimbabwe. Zebra or giraffe? No, zebra. Zebra? Zebra. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, Victoria Falls shares the border with uh, Zimbabwe, and it's twice the height of Niagara Falls. It's a home to the Big Five, and there's a big protection protection um, project going on to save the um, black rhino. It has the largest man-made lake, which is used for commercial fishing. And it has uh, one of the biggest exports um, in this country is uh, copper. It has um, more than 72 languages that are spoken here. This country was once called Rhodesia when it was a, um, an English um, colony. And it's home to um, a near blind species of mole rats, which leave, um, can um, sense magnetic fields with their eyes, pretty amazing. And they dig underground tunnels that can be up to 17 miles long. And their national symbol, is the Amer or the African, not the American, how about the African, fish eagle, and that's also on their flag. But South Luang was a wonderful place in Zambia. Um, the national park we're going to show you videos of today um, is 3,500 square miles in size, so it's huge. Um, we are here in the rainy season. Uh, we prefer the rainy season because everything's lush and green. Um, it's a little harder to find the animals in such a big, um, expansive area. Um, in the dry season, they kind of congregate around the water holes. Here, there's water holes everywhere, especially on the roads, but everywhere, so you, it's a little harder to find animals. So we spend up to eight to 10 hours in, in the car driving around looking for a particular animal. So we're gonna show you some new videos that were taken today and yesterday. Um, some of the videos are in the rain. It was pouring rain all morning today. In an open vehicle uh, made it a little bit more challenging. So stay tuned. Now we're going to show you a couple of our, our favorite videos, and I'll be back in just a moment. Jackie, why don't you move a little bit to your right and take a look behind what you. What's behind is me? The, is the Luangwa River. True. And this is our camp, and it's right along the river. So just to show you what a beautiful place this is, and we'll show you a little bit more later. Okay, hop in the vehicle with us. This is our typical road in South Luangwa. You can see trees on either side. You got to duck occasionally when the branches come your way, um, but it's, it's just a beautiful environment. Um, very narrow little paths to go through the trees. You can see it's raining pretty good. Um, we were pretty well drenched rats by the time we got back to the camp earlier this morning. I thought you'd like to just get a feel for what it's like to be in these vehicles. You can see our, our guide, our driver, his hat is totally wet. And, and here you see a lion. This is one of three brothers uh, we met uh, the last time we were here. And it's not often you get a chance to see them drinking, so um, enjoy this one. We came across this group. Um, this is a female unit um, with some young. 
um, they had moved to the left um, and in a kind of a group. You can see a newborn baby um, kind of hiding between the, the females. And when the matriarch showed up, they decided to move in the opposite direction. So it's always a treat when you can see the little baby elephants um, being well protected the by the females in the group. Before we get started, I want you to just look out our window here. There are a couple cuckoos out here. It looks like um, a male, female, and a, and a baby. Um, you never know who's going to show up. Last, yesterday we had an elephant, and we've had some hippos during the night snorting all night long, so they were just outside of our window. I want to introduce this next video. I, you need to watch it very closely because um, this, this, this video is about um, um, a group of baboons the two males were fighting for dominance and we heard all the screeching. I mean, the whole troop was screaming and screaming. So we stopped the car to listen. And all of a sudden they started running out of the, um, the bushes through kind of a water laden uh, field. And you have to watch real closely. When they get to the water area, you're gonna see a croc jump up and just miss one of the baboons. It's one of those lucky shots. And actually the baboon was very lucky also almost the uh, croc almost had a, a free breakfast um, so enjoy this video but watch for the croc jumping out of the water towards the baboon pretty exciting it's a dummy what yeah oh wow the croc though just missed him did you see that so this is the dominant guy coming here. And, and uh, before the two that will want to challenge him off, you see he's got blood in his eyes. He's got already yeah. some marks on him. Okay, and um, that one doesn't okay, um. like him, he's challenging. <laughs> so he, oh. he... And here you have a thorny croft giraffe. Um, which is endemic to this area, very stately, very beautiful. And look at the at the gate. Two right legs at the same time, two left legs at the same time, and very interesting when they're running as well. The muscles, yeah. Yeah, that's. And here you have a beautiful sight of a crochet zebra. They're very distinctive, with very distinct black and white markings. But what we loved about this one is the baby, um, under two weeks old, just adorable. Uh, and and the, the area and around was so lush and green, and so the yeah, black and white was perfect. offset by the beautiful the lush vegetation. We hope you enjoy. Oh, yeah, this is as a result of a uh, the hippopotamus highway so the hippos go um, habitat where you find what you're them. seeing now is a blue wildebeest um, pretty distinctive you usually see them in big groups but we happen upon a single male just walking across the open field often underestimated are the impala you see them everywhere unfortunately they're snack food for a lot of the bigger animals well we hope you enjoyed the first a video presentation from South Luangwa. Uh, we will be doing another video for you that's very special. Uh, one of our favorite animals, the elephant. We've seen so many here. Um, and just to let you know, uh, it is going to probably be posting tomorrow. Uh, Wi-Fi, hopefully, is in place. Um, and make sure you subscribe. If it doesn't get posted tomorrow, then at least you will get the posting when it comes available. So we hope you enjoyed today and we certainly did um, even with the rain, but uh, as you can see behind me, it's a beautiful place to be. So we're really enjoying our time here and I hope you are too. Thanks so much. See you later.